I have never played the games, so I had no previous cognitions going into this movie, other than I enjoy most of the cast, and that the reviews are slamming it as being soulless. And well, they were wrong. It is pretty void of creativity or essence. Directed by Eli Roth, Borderlands is a safe and simple story, but a ragtag crew of outcasts meeting each other and immediately teaming up to hunt down a mysterious vault. And that, that's it really, yeah. Essentially, it's Guardians of the Galaxy meets Mad Max with the saturation pumped up to the max. Movies based off of video games have not had the best track record. And after the last few W's we got in the past few years, Borderlands revives that somber trend. It felt more like an Amazon original flick rather than a big budget blockbuster. The budget being <laughs> 15 million. I only assume it was mostly shelled out to securing such a star studded cast like Jamie Lee Curtis who was completely wasted in her role. Not drunk, just wasted. And usually anything Jack Black is in is golden. And he did shine in his voice role as Claptrap, garnering the only genuine, <clears throat> the only laughs I produced while watching. There was little to no substance or character development. It consisted of jumping scene to scene, set to set, which were actually pretty rad and extravagant, but they all just met each other, became an instant team, and embarked on a journey together, with any dialogue between these characters just being annoying quips and painfully, painfully forced exposition, conveyed via not very confident line delivery. The only thing it really had going for it was the soundtrack, which is why I diagnose it with a 4 out of 10. Wait. No, actually, a 4.5 out of 10 for featuring a song from my favorite band, Muse. Don't you dare forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more new movie reviews on The Dr. T Show.